those of you who are sitting, we want you to say welcome. And with the loudest and most powerful appreciation clap, you give to them for all the hard work that they're doing. So we're going to start. We're going to start with the Midwest. With the Midwest, the home of Chicago and, and the fight uh, and our first organization of over 300,000 people. Of the work of all of you who are organizing uh, in the meatpacking industry. Of all of you who are organizing your community in rural and in cities. We ask the Midwest to please stand up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And unions in the U.S. and in Mexico, 
and uh, I wasn't prepared that well. Enlace. I just have a little picture of folks from our member organizations and immigrants have been really key in some of our victories. So we were able to get Sierra Lee to agree to labor neutrality in Mexico because immigrants in this country organize um, actions to support workers in Mexico. They contacted their allies in Korea, and Canada, and Mexico. So we were victorious. <laughs> One of the victories we had was last spring when a, a real estate developer decided to evict all the members of the trailer court because he wanted to develop that um, property and we shed enough light on what was going on that there was sort of public outrage and we couldn't change his mind but the social service agencies were forced to find appropriate housing for all the people who were undocumented. All right. to represent the hospitality and the emphasis on community and neighborliness that immigrants bring to us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I am the Inez Lushinsky and I represent the Kentucky Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. Seven thousand immigrants came out of the shadows to come and join us to support our group, to support our march, April the 10th. That's right. Go immigrants! <laughs> the force, if you could see it, represents the daily work of our immigrants in our community. This is why they come to Kentucky. Go Kentucky! Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jaywon Lee. I'm from the National Korean American Service and Education Consortium in Los Angeles and I'm all up here along with our community centers, Chicago, uh, the Korean American Resource and Cultural Center, and in New York, uh, Wackasek, empowering the Korean American community, and finally, Korean Resource Center in Los Angeles. And one of our, if I can take a walk back in time, one of our most concrete uh, victories is our five-year struggle for uh, SSI restoration for Korean immigrant seniors. And for us, it really crystallized the work of community orga organizing, resulting into legislative victories. And through our work, we see like Mr. Parker, or one of our community leaders from Chicago, uh, really <laughs> Also from Korean Americans for Just Immigration Reform. In Philadelphia, we'll talk about the item. <laughs> so, Korean Americans, we are bringing energy into this movement. We bring fun into the movement, and we all bring spirit into the movement. <laughs> approaching us is February 18th, so we wanted to present um, the organizers today with a pokjori. It's a rice ladle. It symbolizes uh, luck and, uh, I can say, luck and prosperity, and in many ways talks about how, you know, here as immigrants, sometimes in our movements, we don't really get to talk about our humanity and our humanness. And so, you know, we are hoping for the next couple of days that we remember that immigrants are humans. And you know the fact that we sometimes even have to remember that tells us how much we have, how much work we have left to do. Thank you. This year, the basket of cheese, milk, carrots, and apples, just representing the hard labor of our immigrants within our state. So if anybody wants to like eat, come grab some. <laughs> And as you all know, uh, Birmingham, Alabama has played a very important role during the civil rights movement in the, in the 60s. So now we are the new face of Alabama, now we are the new face of the Southeast. And we have uh, one of the bigger, lar the, the largest uh, march uh, last year uh, in Birmingham City. So, yes! Yeah! My name is Rita Gallardo, and I represent UTSA, which is the y se hizo historia en el estado de Iowa. Es la primera vez que un grupo inmigrante
se reúne más de 5.000 personas en la ciudad de Limoy. So, se hizo historia en el estado de Iowa y vamos a hacer más. Más de, la tercera, más de la mitad de los inmigrantes no trabajó el día primero de mayo. for New South Carolinians, and um, it, one of our uh, biggest victories was that took place last April when we helped organize, along with our community partners, over a thousand people for a march in support of fair immigration reform Woo! at the state capitol. Yes! I know a lot of people are moving to South Carolina and to the Carolinas in general, and um, I brought today some hand lo hotel hand lotion uh, that represents really the just tremendous hard work of immigrants in our state who support that industry. And citizenship Coalition, and one of our big victories over the past year was to finally get uh, the Philadelphia Police Department to pass a directive on language services. Um, and every single Philadelphia police officer was trained on using language services to interact with the community over the course of the last year. portobello mushrooms. Um, now, I don't know if anybody here knows what mushrooms are grown in, um, but suffice it to say that immigrants work some pretty terrible jobs in this country. Um, and these mushrooms are from Kennett Square, which is only 30 miles from Philadelphia. And it is the mushroom capital of the United States and possibly even of the world. And it's time that all of our mushroom workers and all of our immigrant workers get the rights they deserve. Justicia. ¿Y cuándo? Ahora. Buenas tardes. Pues, yo represento a Tierra de Camino de Andar y al Centro de Integración eh, Latinoamericano. Nosotros hemos logrado que en nuestra ciudad de Nueva York tengamos interpretación en todos los idiomas, tanto en el Centro de Colfer como en todos los hospitales y clínicas de la ciudad de Nueva York. Y es así. mil miembros en la ciudad de Manhattan para ahora que estuvimos en la marcha para defender los derechos de todos los inmigrantes y esperamos seguir luchando para que haya las mejores leyes en, la, en el país del, eh, para todos los inmigrantes. Así que muchas gracias y seguiremos siempre de frente. Pastor Rival Loreal, uh, representing PAC, People acting for community together and the chair of immigration committee. One of uh, the victory we went last year uh, on health care helped to make the authority to establish 27 health clinic and 26 public school with that victory. A one more than 1,000 immigrant children now can see the doctor and go to the screening. Coalition, of course, in North Carolina. North Carolina, I think a coalition. And uh, we are a 70 organization across the state. We are a statewide uh, coalition. And uh, we are an affiliate of the uh, Industrial Areas Foundation, IAF. And uh, one of the uh, major uh, accomplishments that we have had was last year we had a uh, delegates assembly with over a thousand people attended and pressure uh, the uh, secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services to implement Title VI in North Carolina. So that has been a good, good victory and we're still working on it. The other one is also we have pressured and have gotten uh, commitment from uh, key congressional leaders to sit down with leaders of the North Carolina Latino Coalition so that we can discuss immigration reform and we want one that is a comprehensive immigration reform. So, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Now we are bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to join us at the moon uh, for real immigration and reform bill. Uh, we, want, we want to make sure the voice of the Africans and the voice of the Asians and the voice of the Latinos and the voice of the Europeans and the, the voice of the, the Native Americans will be at the mall and this year what, we, what do we need? Real immigration reform. <laughs>
I would say is what do we need? Immigration. Real immigration reform. What do we need? Real immigration reform. What do we need? Immigration reform.